TXC 2000 here with my good friend Uncle Jerry, 50th. Hey guys, thanks for having me, Luke. And we are going to be doing a review on the movie World War Z. And this is actually a collector's print that I got at my local Cinemark Theaters. Um, so uh, you could have gotten this if you want to see the advanced screening of World War Z on Thursday night at uh, 8 p.m. at Cinemark. Other theaters were selling their, uh, were having other collectible prints, but you can only get this exact one at Cinemark. And I actually got two of them. So that's pretty cool. And since uh, I went to the advanced screening, they were giving away these really cool glasses here. And you got a World War Z logo on the side, and you got the Real D 3D logo right there as well. And they're really nice. I really like the design. And I think they're actually very comfortable. So yeah, and uh, this is actually the bag that it came in. Uh, it's really uh, cool looking. It's just, um, it's black and white. Uh, it has a World War Z logo there, and it has a picture of the uh, helicopter shooting down all the zombies. And I asked the guy there at the movie theaters if I could have like some extra pair of World War Z glasses. And I asked him if I could like buy some more, but instead of um, uh, making me pay for it, he actually just gave me three more, so yay. So uh, Jerry, did you get anything at the uh, premiere or advanced screening winner? Uh, no, my movie theater didn't do that. I actually got a ticket, but then it got lost. And uh, so no, I don't really have anything. Uh, I only showed the movie theaters do it. Uh, well, you do have this in your memory, so... Mm, yeah, I yeah. can't sell that, though. Yeah, probably not. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's just get on with the review of the, the movie. So, um, first off, let's start out with the introduction to the film. Did you like the way that the film started off with the, uh, like, the summar uh, summarizing up, like, how the virus was spreading? Uh, yes. Uh, first, it led you to believe that it was made from zombie uh, babies. And um, you see these wolves attacking each other and stuff. And then on the radio, it actually says the babies cannot be controlled, the outburst and everything. And But then you find out it's zombies. The movie definitely isn't for everybody. If you can't handle a horror movie, you can't handle World War Z. If you can, you like zombies, definitely see it. It made The Walking Dead, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, it made The Walking Dead look like nothing. Yeah, and it, it really does. Like, Walking Dead is like... Like a, a puppy in the park compared to that. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome if you like horror movies or, you know, it's not really a horror film actually. It's like more of like a. an a, it's intense. It's more, yeah, it's more of like, a, like an apocalypse kind of like a, a film. And uh, it's it's really cool. A lot of action scenes. And um, the, uh, the, when the when the zombies pop out at you, it's uh, really scary. It makes you. Uh, you jump, uh, especially if you uh, went to the uh, 3D showing, or if you go, um, if you haven't seen this movie already, I highly recommend that you go see uh, the movie in 3D because it's a lot better. And, um, and when the zombies pop out, it actually makes you feel like you're in the film, and it makes it a lot scarier. So uh, definitely see it in 3D if you haven't already. And if you uh, if you guys have a Cinemark close to you, just go see the XD Real D 3D showing of World War Z because the XD showing has a really nice stereo system. So whenever like something really loud uh, comes up, it vibrates your seats. It's uh, really cool. Also, um, uh, the, the screen is really big too. It's almost like an IMAX screen. And I think the quality of the, um, the, uh, the screen is a lot better too. And uh, that's exactly like my IMAX, except uh, Man of Steel was in IMAX, and I kind of was what was he was, but, um, you know, uh, people have been asking if there's going to be a sequel and stuff, but I don't really think there is, because it basically wrapped it up in the first movie, and they didn't get a lot of box office hits. They didn't advertise it very well. I think it deserved way more better advertisement, more... Um, critic reviews, it got a 7.2 out of 10, that's kind of bad. I think um, the movie should have deserved at least an 8.4 in my opinion. Yeah, my at opinion. least. Um, yeah. And uh, my friend didn't even know it was a zombie movie until the day before. And that was kind of sad, but um, I, I think Brad Pitt did a very good job. He had a great comeback in this movie. Um, I mean, I just had everything good to say about it um and also if you're a fan of the walking dead there's a zombie in the who facility spoiler and um it kind of looks like Masson off the walking dead do you agree Lugan? yeah and uh just call me zach by the way um yeah it really, it really does uh people wanting to know your name or... no I, I already have it down below what the heck um but anyways um 
Yeah, yeah. it really does. It does look like her. It's really scary too, because like her eyes are like popping out. And she's like biting at the the, the glass. It's it's scary. It's maybe in the Walking Dead series finale, the Masson will be turned into a zombie and go to the Who facility. Who knows? <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that was really cool. So, uh, like Jerry was saying, uh, uh, Brad Pitt guy got a really good comeback with this film. Uh, a lot of people don't really like Brad, uh, Brad Pitt, unless if you're like you're a girl and you find him attractive. Uh, but other than that, uh, just if you, if you don't really like him, just uh, forget it's Brad Pitt. Just think about the character, and it's just like a really um, awesome storyline. And I think uh, Brad Pitt did a really good job uh, with this role. Now, uh, World War Z kind of made me sad because. Um one of the guy's name was Scary. The other guy's name was Terry. But no, Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I, I think I'm gonna cry. I, I, I prepare myself for this moment, but I don't think I can handle it. It's okay. I'm here for you, buddy. Okay, back to the movie. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, towards the uh, end of the film, instead of uh, like when uh, Brad Pitt was going look for uh, looking for a cure at the Who facility, but instead of finding a cure. He injects himself with meningitis as sort of like a camouflage towards the zombies because the zombies only uh, like see like healthy hosts and because they're diabetic. And if you're like if you are like the host is like uh, like diseased or is like sick, um, then they won't even uh, notice the, uh, the, the person and they won't even uh, try to even attempt to. Uh, and uh, he's paraphrasing when he says the zombies are diabetic. They're not actually diabetic. Just think of them diabetic. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because spoiler alert. Um, he sees this uh, blind man, and um, you know, first he sees a hobo, and the zombies pass him, and he's just drinking his heart out. And then you see a blind man, and the zombies pass them. Then you see a boy. You, you don't really know what the, what the boy has. You guess cancer because he doesn't have any hair or anything. But, um, and they pass him. So that's how he figures out that camouflage, basically. And it's kind of sad because you hope for a cure in like three-fourths of the population of zombies. Even more than that, probably. Um, but uh, it's, uh, you're glad that at least somebody survives. Yeah, but this is why there can't be a sequel, though, because they basically already kind of ended uh, World War Z by uh, when the, when they got when they got the camouflage, basically everything was uh, done and over with. They basically won the war uh, against the zombies because because right, like, you see them like nuking the zombies, yeah, and, like blow torching them, and yep. They just kill off the zombies because the zombies don't even notice them, so they can just kill them a lot easier now. And uh, towards the end of the movie, you can see them just piling up all the dead bodies and burning them and. Um, so yeah, there, there really is no need for a cure since there's uh, no more zombies. Uh, but, and it, uh, what really sucks is that um, it never told how the zombie plot started. Um, none of the zombie movies really do. Uh, but I kind of hoped it would be different, tell how. But um, you know, you can't ask for everything. And um, I, I still think it was a good movie. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an awesome movie. It's definitely one of my top three movies of 2013. Uh, first off would have to be Iron Man 3, second Man of Steel, and third would be World War Z. And um, I don't know why uh, the critics are being so harsh on this movie. I really like it. Um, I would probably give it like a 8.4 out of uh, like a 10. Well, I mean, one, it wasn't the best actors, um, but uh, that that's going to bring down reviews a lot. But uh, I think it was good actors. I didn't think I don't think any of them was horrible. And um, you gotta notice stuff because um, uh, you see this is uh, kid and he's living with his parents and um, you see the dad gets turned into a zombie. Um, you see him chasing up the stairs. You see the mom jump on the helicopter. But the most thing you have to pay attention to is there's this cop, and he's in like a CVS, Walgreen type store, a drug store, and he's getting all the supplies. Well, um, my friend actually saw this, not me. Um, you see the cop turn into a zombie and chasing them up the stairs. Comes later on, so let's keep an eye out for that. Oh yeah, uh, you um, uh, you never told me that he uh, that, that you um, your friend saw the cop walking up the stairs. But now that I look back at it, I do remember a cop walking up the stairs and um, biting uh, Brad Pitt on the yeah. arm. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to that kind yeah. of stuff. 
The only uh, really uh, part like I noticed was the uh, the mom and the dad of um, the little boy was infected. Yeah, you, the dad is easy to see because the dad is like caught up. But you gotta pay attention. Yeah. So um, uh, World War Z definitely the one of the um, uh, the best summer movies of 2013. I highly recommend you see it. See it in 3D or uh, XD, Real D, 3D if you can. If you have a Cinemark near you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you. Yeah, you're welcome, Jerry. <laughs> so make sure to hit that subscribe button, buy some of my merchandise, save this video to your favorites, comments in the comments below, let me know how I did on this video. Also, check out my other videos and have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to Lukia XT2000. Please subscribe to Lukia XT2000 and check out some of my other videos. And check out some of my other videos. Thank you guys for watching.